Hey, my name is Adam, and today I'm going to be showcasing my final project with the Flatiron School. I made an app called Money Moon, which allows for couples to track their finances together. So let's start by first creating a login. We first get prompted to link a bank account, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have a Chase account. We're now going to get accounts and transactions related to that one institution. And since most people have multiple institutions, let's add one more. So we now have all the accounts uh, related to the one user. And from here, we can go through, click on accounts to filter transactions related to that one account. We also have the option of filtering between different account types. So say we want to look at our depository accounts, investments, or debt. And we get a quick balance on each account to get a general overview of where you stand. We can also come down to month, and we don't have any transactions for the month of May, so let's go down to April. Here we get all the transactions related to that month, as well as a visual representation of the money that came in, how much came out, to give you a quick overview of how you did that month. If you want to dig deeper, you can hit show categories, which will then assign a category to each transaction. And from the pie chart, you can click on different categories to then filter and really drill down on where your spending was. Here in Trends, we look at your last six months of history for each account type, and based off of your trends, such as your monthly debt payments, we give an estimation of where you would be in six months if you were on the same trends. And this is to encourage you to either stay on your trends, adjust your trends, or so. And just like before, you can filter through different account types, but that broke, but it's okay. We refresh the page. Um, from here, let's try adding another user. Here, if we get this code and pass it to our partner, they can come and create an account. So let's go ahead, create an account for Jay-Z. As you can see, this logged us into a dash that has the previous user as well as the new user. So let's see, we have all of Beyonce's information. Let's go ahead and add an account for Jay-Z. So your account credentials are sent to Plaid and they send us back a token. We don't really store your credentials and neither does Plaid. So no concern in security there. And from here, we have the same toggling capabilities as before. But now we are able to go through each user and see how they're doing individually and then as a unit. Same goes for month. You can see what their spending habits were as an individual as well as how they did all together. And lastly with trends, this is beneficial because they can see how they did together and then from there set goals so they can decide to increase their debt payments, but in the process also reduce their savings to keep up with that. Um, from here, of course, you can always delete an account. So if we were to remove a Bank of America account, it will remove all the information from the dash. And that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned.